Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. As you know, we've been covering all the IITs, all the NITs, all the triple IITs in terms of the kind of cutoff that you need, the ranks that you need to get into them, the kind of placement that happened at a branch level, the kind of companies that come in, the kind of average and median salary that you have. So in that process, we are also covering IIT Roorkee. If you want me to cover anything else, please subscribe to BTEC 360 because we're going to keep you informed on everything that's happening at a BTEC engineering college level so that you get into the best college possible. We also created a comprehensive guidebook for you to exactly understand what the IIT ecosystem is. It's a very comprehensive guidebook of all the IITs, the kind of placement that happened at a, at a college level, at a branch level also. So please, if you want, just go to the link, click on that and download that ebook if you want it also, right? Now coming about IIT Roorkee. IIT Roorkee, we're going to discuss the placement stats, the salary data, the recruiters, the cutoff, the job role wise performance, everything that we're going to discuss this at this point in time. Now IIT Roorkee was established in 1847. It's a, it's a pre-independence era thing. It's a very uh, legacy institution. It's now an institution of national importance which means it reports to the government of India and no one else. Uh, the campus size is 365 acres. The total students is 4,462, of which 80% are boys and 20% are girls. Right. And about 98% of the students come from outside the state and about five students come from outside the country also. Right. That's a broad gist of what IIT Roorkee is all about. Now about the placements. We've got three years placements. Now the data that we're showing here is that placement, which is essentially has been filed by IIT Roorkee to the government of India. So in every single time when we're talking of placement, we'll only talk of what's been filed in an affidavit to the government of India, because you should know that, you know, of course, IITs may not do it, uh, though we do know that a few of the IITs are also misclaiming in a certain numbers. But typically we would want to go with an affidavit because a lot of these uh, brochures are marketing brochures in a sense. So when we keep coming on to the, into the private college, you actually see a lot of misclaims and all. So we'll stick with what's been filed in an affidavit to the government of India, right? When we look at that data for 23-24, so you actually have 1,116 students who were admitted, 1,102, so 14 students failed the examination possibly or dropped out somewhere in between. 769 students were placed and 330 students, you know, opted for higher studies. I find this number to be a question mark. Because when I actually have almost one third of the students or 30% of the students actually opting for higher studies, it raises my red flag. Because, it, you know, typically when you actually provide very good placement, students don't move in for higher studies, especially in engineering colleges, you know, they just take the placements as it comes. But in this particular case, when I see this number, it creates a red flag in my head. So to that extent, I will hold my horses. But as it is submitted to the government of India, I'll read out what the, they submitted to the government of India. Having said that, there is a conditionality that I'm putting in here that when I see this number, 333, which is 30% of the total intake, which is graduated, but have opted for higher studies, I find it very, very odd because when you see other institutions, you don't see that kind of number, right? Now, because they have only said that only few students, which is 769 uh, were registered for placement, you obviously show 100% placement by reducing this 333, by forcing students or possibly to opt out. But by the way, a lot of IIMs and IITs are also forcing students to opt out of placement so that they can claim 100% placement, which seems to have happened here is my perception at this point in time, right? And the median cities is 17 lakh rupees. So this is what we're dealing with at this point in time. They're claiming 100% placement. My opinion is it's not 100% placement. It's about 75, 80, 85%, not more than 100%. Definitely not 100%. It's not possible at this point in time. Why do I say that? Let me take you to the another data point. Okay, I'll come to that later. Now, highest domestic package, they, what they got is 150 lakhs again. Again, a big red flag for me. Too big a round figure for, for me for the domestic package. And 205 lakhs being the international package. Average salary being 20 lakhs. So everything seems to be a round, round figure here, which again creates an issue with me in my head, right? Now, when you look at the students who register for placement, remember I talked to you of how many students, you know, admitted and were graduated and how many students were placed, right? So obviously, the number of students who are placed are those who registered for placement is what they claim. So it removes the opt-outs or it removes the students who, you know, who move to higher studies is what they claim, right? Now, look at this data here. You will understand what I'm saying. Take computer science, which is a, the best branch out there in many of the colleges, right? Now, computer science here, you have 108 students who participated in placement and 107 students were placed, right? Now, this is what it is. Now, when you look at, and by the way, this is an RTA response that we got. You remember that 100% placement? Now, we're talking of students who participated in placement and students who got placed. They, they talk of 100% placement. Here, if you see biases and bioengineering, 21 students participated and 15 were placed. So obviously only 60% were placed. So where did the 100% come from? 
So very clearly, the data that you're showing on NIRF, which is the Government of India website, which is what they have filed on, uh, responded to based on RTA, there seems to be some kind of a gap here. 100% placement, for sure, IIT Roorkee is lying at this point in time. Right? Chemical engineering, 111 students participated, 78 students were placed. Again, if you look at it, it's about 70% placement. Right? Civil engineering, 129 students participated, and 84 students placed. Again, about 65% kind of a placement. Whatever the number is. And that's what you keep going. Electrical, 143, 130. So better branches, if you see, whatever the placement is, you actually are close to that in terms of placement. Right. Now, there is one more gap that you must remember here. Right. We're talking about students participated. This doesn't include, obviously, those students who opted out or have said that they're moving for higher studies which is where the big game is. Like when you actually see biosciences 25 students, the intake typically is not 25 students. Typically in all these engineering colleges, the intake for any branch is either 40 or 60. It would never be 25, right? So in fact, if you look at it from that perspective, if 60 is the sanctioned intake, then only 15 were placed, only 25% of the students were placed. And on and on and on. So we don't have the sanctioned intake here. Had we had that column, it would have been totally different because you would have realized how big the gap is between what is the number of students who got into the course and how many actually got placed. In between, people would have opted out, people would have moved for higher studies also possibly, right? But the, the bigger the gap, it means there is something much more serious that needs to be looked at, right? But having said that, we'll just deal with this number as it moves along, right? Now, electrical engineering, 143 and 137. Uh, electrical, electronics and communication, 95 and 91. Engineering physics, 28 and 18. Production engineering, 48 and 33, which means again, 65% placement, right? Mechanical engineering, 128 and 115, which means again, 90% placement. And metallurgical, 47 and 19, which is again, if you work back, we're dealing with only 35% placement. These are the kind of numbers that we're dealing with, or 40% placement. So essentially what you're looking at at this point in time is that there seems to be a dramatic gap between a response that they gave on RTI versus what they actually have submitted to the government of India. And for me, the clear you know, red flag is the fact that almost one third of the students of IIT Roorkee are moving to higher studies, which for me is a very, very big red flag because if you give you know campus placements, typically students want to pursue a job before they move on to higher education. In this case, it's not happening. And remember, these are all B.Tech students. We're not talking of pure science students who prefer to go for higher studies and then research and then do PhD and all. These are engineering students, which typically means that they're getting into a production level, application level a job, and then move on to another course. So, so very clearly, there seems to be a lot of red flags in the kind of data that is there in terms of the kind of conversation that you have between the data submitted and the data that's been filed on RTI to us. Having said that, okay, let's now that story is over. Let me also tell you about the kind of cutoff that you want. And what we're talking of here is category ranks. Right, we're talking of category ranks at this point in time. When you look at the category rank for computer sciences, the closing cutoff was 592 ranks. So at a general category level, 592 rank is what was the last rank at which you got into BTEC computer sciences in IIT Roorkee. Data science at, uh, AI, 845. Electronics and communication engineering, 1486. Electrical, 2091. Mechanical, 3897. Engineering physics, 4544. Again, at a category rank level, for EWS, it was 98. For data science, it was 119. Electronics, 254. Electrical, 351. Mechanical, 688. And engineering physics, 1101. At OBC NCL level, 253. Data science, AI, 387. Electrical, electronics and communication engineering, 721. Electrical engineering, 979. Mechanical, 1840. And engineering physics, 26365. Then you also have SCST where it is 129 and 77 for ST. And moving on, you can actually download what you want from here, right? Or you can take a screenshot and deal with this. Now, this again, I'm saying the closing rank that we're talking of is based on a filter which is gender, male, and disability not applicable because some of these people you will also have a female, you know, extra numeric reservation that happens. So we've only taken gender as male to deal with this. Obviously, you'll have the female side of it also, and you must be looking at that where the rank would be going up a bit for some of this, especially for CS and uh, whereas for core engineering, it is much more easier for you to get in. 
Now these are other branches that they have: energy uh, engineering 4761, chemical 4816, production industrial engineering 5820, civil engineering 6870, metallurgical 7341, biosciences 8159. And then you also have the category which is EWS, OBC, NCL, SC, and ST. Please, you know, take a screenshot of this if you want to. Now, what are the companies that come for placement? When you look at that, you actually see that uh, you have the best of the companies: American Express, Analog Services, Enesis, Apple, Arsatium, Arista, Athena Health, Altesia. And automation and edge. You know, you actually have uh, Brahmos Airspace, Brainstorm Force, Brain, Britannia, Bunch, uh, BSCS, Yamuna, Rajdhani, Amplus, Anakin, Anandrati, and you actually have. You know, we only taken a few of them. BlackRock, for example. So we only went up to B, but there is obviously is a lot of list out here. So we're not getting into that. But some of the best companies obviously go for placement. Now, when we looked at the uh, the LinkedIn profile of the kind of students who studied at IIT Roorkee, obviously it's a very old institution. So you'll obviously have lot of people who studied at IIT Roorkee and are on LinkedIn. So we actually examined the data of all the students who claimed that they studied at IIT Roorkee in some capacity or other. When we looked at that. About 480 students who studied at IIT Roorkee are right now working in Microsoft. At one point in time, it was 1307. So obviously, these people joined there, then moved on for better careers and better roles and those kind of things. In Deloitte, 150 students are currently working. Even currently, 95 students are working. Bain and Company, 22 students are working. Right. When we look at the Mang, which is the the trillion dollar company that you have, 106 students are currently working in Meta who studied at IIT Roorkee. At least that's what they claim. Uh, In Apple, one one three students are working. Remember, Apple comes for placement out here. Amazon, four thirty five students are working. Netflix, three students are working. Google, three eighty two students are working. So obviously, the best of the companies go there for placement because of which so many students seem to be working even today at in these companies who claim that they studied in IIT Roorkee. When we looked at data of the global mobility of the students of the mobility of the students who studied at IIT Roorkee, we realized that about eighty four percent of the students who studied at IIT Roorkee are right now in India, which means sixteen percent students are working outside of India, and. When we looked further, went down to understand where all they are working, we realized that about nine percent students are working in USA, which is a very good number, five thousand three twenty one students. About eight fifty five students are working in UK, six sixty one in you know Canada, six twenty six in uh, you know UAE, four twenty in Australia, and three forty four in Germany, and three twelve in in Singapore. Right. So very clearly, you know, students who study at IIT Roorkee are globally mobile. That they are able to capture the uh, good roles and then move, would have moved up within the ladder with, from the company that they joined in, or moved jobs, more roles, more roles because they suddenly got a better offer outside of India also. But very clearly, they see people seem to be moving ahead. Now we're going to, as I said, we'll be covering a lot of other colleges also. So if you want me to cover a college of your choice, write to me here, and we'll be happy to cover that. If you want to download an entire comprehensive guide of the IIT. Guide, Guidebook where we talk of cutoffs, placements, salaries, and everything like that. Please go on the link below and click on that and download the ebook, and that will help you understand what are your chances of getting into IITs and what are the kind of prospects that you have when you join a particular branch in a particular IIT, and that will help you. Thank you so much. Namaste.